Um, for me, as a sophomore, this is my first time playing Salisbury, so I personally never participated in, in like a like a rivalry this big. We obviously knew about it because just what everyone talks about, Stevenson versus Salisbury. You get it with volleyball, lacrosse, pretty much any sport. Um, so we knew how big the rivalry was going in, and there was definitely a ton of pressure because this was really our first competitive game that we actually, I mean, when you go into any game, there's a chance you're going to lose. But this one especially, we knew that it was going to be tough. It was probably going to be our first five-setter, um, and that's exactly what it was. Definitely stressful. I know for me personally, like, I try not to get super, I, I, I feel like I'm very much like I mess up, okay, like it's fine, let's get the next point. Um, and I feel like a lot of my teammates this season were like that, which I was fortunate enough to share with them. Um, but I think when it's that close, like the smallest thing, like if you miss your serve or if the ref makes one call that could have gone like a certain way. Um, so it's definitely disappointing, but it's also one of those mentalities where it's only the first set and you have a possibility of going to five. So um, when we lost, it was just sort of like, all right, look at how close that score was. Let's talk about what we did wrong um, and just kind of regroup and head into the second set um, stronger than we did the first. Like get all the jitters out, play, play for real this time. It definitely didn't deter from our momentum going into the second set. It's totally different if you get like blown out the first set. You definitely don't have you don't have the as much of a drive as you do if it's close and you lose. So that definitely getting as many points as we could have that first set was huge because it really did um, help us maintain a strong mentality going into the second set. And then I think. Um, after winning that and coming off of playing well and, you know, a couple really good, like, kills from Katie Leffridge or Tor Prokic, like, you're just, like, really driven to get into, like, that third set then. And I think that definitely carried our momentum. Whereas for them, I don't think they um, used that first set win to as much of to their advantage as we did in the second going into the third set. Um, so yeah, definitely like winning a previous set is huge. Like it definitely, it makes, it contributes a lot to how you're gonna play the next, um, the next three, four, five sets. Uh, I mean, I know a big thing that the seniors this year, um, a big statement that they always said was um, just that we didn't, especially when you get into like the fourth and fifth sets, I think, they were saying it in the game against Hopkins and in our first round of NCAAs, we didn't fight so hard for this comeback to make it to the fifth set and lose. Like we leave it all out there um, regardless of what the score is. I try to like not pay attention to the score in those really high pressure, especially the fifth sets, um, only because I don't, I personally don't want to let the score stress me out more than I already am out there. Um, but, uh, yeah, definitely just trying to benefit as much as possible from all the hard work, um, that you're putting in, in the previous four sets and just trying to, uh, regroup, especially when we're down, like you said, like eight, six, uh, right in the like smack middle of the set too. Um, so just trying to change the momentum a bit in the middle of that set is huge for us and little statements like that um, definitely help and I'm sure coach called um, a timeout and not only does that give him a chance to kind of help us regroup it gives us like the six of us on the court a time to just take a breather like get some water and then also just for us to talk in not so high pressured of a situation. Um, we're sitting on the bench, everything's calm and relaxed for that like quick minute and a half or however long we get. Um, but it, it just gives us a chance to really go over things uh, a little more in detail than we might when we're on the court uh, huddling after a point. So definitely beneficial. <laughs>
Yeah, it was huge. I mean, that was definitely a big thing for us. We wanted to keep our win streak alive for as long as possible. We ended up making, I mean, we didn't lose until we played Hopkins in the middle of the season. I'm not sure exactly what we were at, but overall, super exciting game. And I'm really, I'm blessed and I feel very lucky that I was able to be a part of that game um, and be out there with my teammates and have fun. It was a lot of fun, especially when you win. <laughs>